The craft of hurley making has always been in, in our family. My father learned the craft from my granduncle Pop Torpy in the 1930s. He had been making hurleys since he was a young fella, got a reputation for making a very good, consistent hurley in 1981. My father set up the business. I come from a family of six siblings, five sisters, and I'm the youngest and the only boy in the family. Whether it was on the farm or whether it was here at the Hurley factory, you just rolled up your sleeves and you got it done. My father John played for 36 years, won an All-Ireland Junior Medal with Wicklow. Also played quite a lot with our, our own club of Callahan's Mills here in, in East Clare. My own background is a degree in sports engineering. Got the chance to work in Adidas as, as part of their innovation team, seeing the future of new products, how they were created. Got a huge amount of learnings, I would say, and uh, I was hoping to bring that back to the business. When Ash Dieback started really impacting our business in 2013, 2014, we had to start looking at something new. We both felt that moving towards bamboo was just a natural evolution. Right from the offset of prototyping stage, we felt we had something that had potential and could replicate what always has been an Ash Hurley to the player, because at the end of the day, it's not about us, it's about the player. Innovation comes at a cost. We've been supported financially by Bank of Ireland to enable us to create a bamboo hurley. It was a big decision to come back into the business. I'm really delighted I have now. It's taken another lease of life. Hopefully it'll mean that it'll be here long into the future. I have a small daughter at the moment and maybe she might like to, to craft a hurley into the future, but I won't be putting any pressure on her anyway, that's for sure.